Worrying is killing you. What are you doing about it? We have a set of worried people, not only in this country, but across the world, worried people. The world is unstable. There is killing, there is farming. You look at Syria, look at the hurricane, watch what's happening. People are worried. You must understand that when God take control of your life, that he did with Abraham. Abraham had a personal relationship with God. So when God said to him, Abraham, I want you to pack and leave. It is time to pack and leave. You cannot stay where you are and go with God. Some of you worry too much. God's road map is clear. That you must follow my instruction. Not the pastor instruction. Not the church instruction. Do you know? There are people who are more fixed with the doctrines of the church. And the rules of the church than with the word of God. Do you know that? Let me say to you. Any day. Stanford Simon said to you, something that you cannot see, read in this word. And Claire tell Stanford Simon to stay where he is with what he know. I'm serious. Because you see, once you begin to go against this word and obey man what they think, you off base. Have you ever think about it? If you leave Grenada and you're one degree off and you're going to Barbados, what happens? By the time you reach, how many degrees you'll be off? If you leave here and you're heading to Puerto Rico and you're one degree off, what happened by the time you arrive in Puerto Rico? You will not arrive in Puerto Rico. You'll be in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. There are many of you who are so far off your base because you have not followed the road map of God. You're supposed to be impacting people's lives in a positive way. You maybe had a, you're supposed to have a nice job making thousands of dollars and influencing people's life. Ah, that level of way I say, nah, I can't make that. No, no, go in university. I can't see the money. And I, I can't go study. Or oh, things bad with me. And I can't even go and take a loan. I don't know how I'll pay it back. Let me say to you, if God called you, he would supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. Listening to God is critical to your future. It's critical to your success. But if you do not have a relationship with God, you cannot hear the voice of God. Do you know that? Out of, and let me bring this home really for you. Someone who have issues with you and you do not have a close relationship with you. They come in and tell you something about yourself. You listen to them? Think about it. You are the guy, you are the guy in moving well, but you come in and tell you how you should live your life. And we watch you a long time and you know, this, this is something you think you're doing and you shouldn't do. You know, what do you I want to she. Because you don't have. But if somebody have a friendship would come and tell you something that's happening in life, like I think you need to look at that. Huh? It's careful. You would consider that far more. Right? And you would pay attention far more. The problem with us, because we do not have a relationship with God, we can't hear from God. That's why most of us hear from the devil first. Because we have a good relationship with the devil. We have a nice thing going with the devil. And the devil nice. Remember I tell Jesus, turn the bread, the, the stone into bread. Bow down and watch. I'll give you all of this. The devil have a way of coming and telling you things. You, you love and he want you to see it and give you power. And most of us does bow to him. Why? Because our relationship with God is weak.